Okay, <clears throat> I went through a few paintings this morning uh, to lose the track. These good posters, these Moulin posters, things like that, Moulin Rouge. Paul Cezanne, impression of Paul Cezanne. Hey, get that fruit over there, put it over here, make it as rotting and gnarly as possible, and take that guy's arm and just like kind of stretch it, stretch it all the way out. That's Paul Cezanne. <clears throat> Gustav Klimt, Kiss. You know, that was a classic. Very Byzantine looking. Oh, beautiful, very symbolic. It's a power to it. Okay, Modigliani. He's awesome. The Shiriko. Now we're getting the Surrealists in there. <clears throat> I'm not huge on the Surrealists. They are awesome. It's like Kirchner, the Expressionists. They're my all-time favorite. Don't mind the Surrealists, the, the messing with reality dimension space but there's nothing like the electrifying coloration of a Kirchner painting as inspired by Van Gogh and Munch and other symbolists and post-impressionists led to this like like this right here is just it's like as if it's and that and that has inspired me to this very day I haven't been painting much lately but one of the things I like to do is if I paint a person and they're in like a cityscape or anywhere just take a like as if a lipstick, take a lipstick and just dash it right over them as if their whole aura is this vibrant, like intense, wild coloration right over them. Kind of like a halo, but an expressionist halo. Let's see what else we got here. Leisure. One of the early cubists. Stella. Hmm. Awesome. Gris. Beautiful. Some of these names I'm not recognizing. Delaunay, love him, or Delaunay. Another, like, it's like this, like, cityscape cubism. It's beautiful stuff. Huh. Let's see what else we got. We got a Mondrian, of course. We have. Speaking of the Surrealists, we have a dolly here. You know, we're going to have that. That's a good one. That one. Okay, let's see what else we got. I think it's really inspiring to comment something. Oh, yeah. Devafay. It's a really cool style. It's a... Uh, I don't know what you'd call it. You know, I never really thought about what style he's in. Movement, abstract expressionism. Okay, that works. We got a little Warhol. We got some Chagall. They don't really have that iconic one with Chagall with the flying cow in it. I love that one. Yeah, they're pretty decent one though. And then we have Rauschenberg. He's good. Gerhard, Gerhard Richter. Also, very good. And then it goes on and on. Then I go all the way back. Wow. I think these start at the Renaissance. I think that's when this... Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Giotto. Giotto looks as fresh and modern today as he did in the 1300s. Just something about the, the style he has. You got Van Eyck. You know, on a painting wedding portrait. A touchstone of early Flemish realism. Just the, you know, a lot of the uh, time in art class was spent looking at the chandelier and the mirror in this painting, and then there was little lip service given to the symbolic value of the, the various uh, props in the portrait because of their signifying the, the fidelity and other aspects of the wedding. Ah, that's it. I got nothing.